the defense specifically looking to make uh, a statement against uh, Purdue on Saturday? Um, I feel like we're definitely, you know, trying to push one another in practice. Um, you know, we have a high standard as a defense, and, uh, you know, we feel like we haven't played to that level or the level that we expect of ourselves. So, of course, you know, we're pushing, we're pushing, you know, to push that level up, um, push everybody through practice, you know, and just stay focused on our keys. Did you guys come out of that game with a feeling that, that you lost it as opposed to them defeating you? Um, I mean, they were a great team, but, um, I mean, I definitely felt like we didn't, you know, execute uh, the way that we, we pride ourselves on. Um, and, you know, that's, that's something that just, we use as motivation. You know, we, we came back with two excellent practices, and, uh, you know, we're just continuing to push our, push our level to the next level. So. The stereotypical question is, is there, was there a lesson to be learned for you guys coming out of that game, or is that too dramatic and it was just a, a good team beating another good team? Uh, I mean, I guess you could say, you know, you always got to be on your guard. Um, and you can't, you, basically, you got to go in every week, you know, expecting, you know, to, to go to a great war uh, and a great battle. And, uh, you know, it was a great game. Uh, we, both teams battled, but, um, you know, we just got to continue to push ourselves and be more disciplined. Kavari looked like he struggled a bit against Jeremy Gallon. You being a captain, fellow quarterback, what do you say to him during the game, after the game? I mean, you really just got to keep him positive, um, you know, and I've always said to him, you know, play for the next play. Um, you know, you can't let the previous play eat you up because then it's just going to take your game down. Uh, and he's got a good understanding of that. So, uh, you know, a bunch of guys would just, you know, get around him and tell him, you know, just stay positive, continue to work, and, you know, just go out there and play. I feel like the secondary as a whole had to follow that message a little bit this week, move it on, forget about it type thing. Definitely. I mean, I mean, that's really the whole defense. You know, if something happens, you you got to play for the next play. You can't get yourself caught up in previous plays. So, uh, you know, you just got to pick it up for the next one. Are there any goals, are there any goals that you set uh, against Purdue other than a win uh, that will make the defense feel satisfied in their performance, whether that's posting a shutout or getting a number of interceptions or limiting yardage? I mean, really, we just want everybody running to the ball. Uh, that was one of our big goals, you know, just to get everybody moving full speed. Um, you know, and just just full full go really the whole game. No no loafing around and slow play. Uh, so that's something that we pride ourselves on in practice this week uh, tremendously, just to push the tempo of the defense. Ben, what does Purdue bring to the table for you guys? Uh, I mean, they bring a lot. They have you know talented uh, mobile quarterback. They got pretty good receivers, pretty agile running backs, uh, pretty decent line. And um, you know, at the end of the day, every team shows up to play us. Um, you, know, you can't take any opponent lightly. So, um, you know, we're, we're preparing for them like we would any other game, and we're looking forward to it.